All right, so I've got a pretty quick, simple test today. I'm gonna to be comparing solar chargers. Um, we're gonna be looking at PWM versus MPPT. Now I'm gonna be using the same solar panel in the same location with the same lighting conditions, and I'll switch uh, between the two so that way we can see the different power outputs uh, from it under 100% sun, so no um, fog, no clouds, no nothing like that. And uh, so that way we'll see maximum power output from two different con types of controllers. So as you may know, there are two different types of solar charge controllers. There is PWM and MPPT. Now generally MPPT is regarded as being better. Um, however, it's usually suggested for larger setups and panel arrays, um, but I'm gonna be checking to see the differences on a 100 watt panel. And here is our solar setup, so this is a 100 watt panel, and I've got a light bar here just to take power away from the battery. And then over here, we have my OSHA approved setups. We've got a battery, I have the Victron uh, charge controller set up, and then I've also got the Reno G right here. So first, let me show you uh, the Victron and how much power we're putting out with that, and then I will switch over to the Reno G. Now the Victron has really nice Bluetooth setup, so I'm gonna open that up on here on my phone, and it shows that we're making 97 watts of power. Now this shows you the voltage and the current from the panel, um, and then down here it shows that we're using 10 amps and uh, the battery is still losing 2.5 amps. So let me unplug the uh, light bar here, and that way we can get a true uh, look at the power that we're putting into the battery. And now that the light bar has been disconnected, you can see that we're putting in 7.3 amps to the battery. So that's pretty darn good. Um, again, we're under perfect conditions right now. Uh, excellent sun with no shade and no clouds, uh, but still pumping in 7.2, 7.3 amps. So now let's go ahead and disconnect the Victron and we'll plug in the Renogy. Now this Reno G controller doesn't have a fancy Bluetooth setup. However, it does have a nice little display there. And we can see here that it is putting in 6.3 amps. So we can now see that the MPPT is more efficient even on a smaller panel such as 100 watt. So as you can see here with the tests, you should probably be running an MPPT uh, charge controller for your solar panels. Um, they are a little bit more expensive, but it does seem like you're getting more power out of it. And if you have a more expensive version like a Victron, you'll have that Bluetooth setup and you can see history and you know minimum and maximum power uh, outputs on your solar panel and your battery. So it gives you a lot of uh, information to work with and to use in the future. Now, MPPT controllers are a little bit more expensive. However, you get more power out of that, and if that gets you, you know, a little bit extra power during the day that makes your battery last all night for your fridge, then it's definitely worth it. Now, of course, this doesn't mean you should get rid of your PWM controller. You should still hold on to it as it makes a great backup in case something does happen to your charge controller. Of course, if you have any questions or comments, make sure you put those down below and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and we'll see you in the next video.